gonna love these. Sir, there's a noise coming from the back of the car. No, no, you, you must be imagining things. You can't hear anything. Oh, we'll be at the coast soon, kid. Why did your wife want to go to the seaside? Kids grow up and then, you know, work is work. They get married and they were all gone. Haley often gets lonely. She loved staring at this picture of the sea. That's why I promised to take her there. But, you know, work and all. Later, later, I always told her. Peter never came, but the zombies did. Haley got ill, and I never kept my promise. Remember this, kid. If you love someone, never tell them. No, later. Are we there, sir? We're here, kid. There's one last thing you can do. Go and pick me a bunch of flowers from over there. And you can take Haley. These blue flowers are a bit uninspiring. I should go find some different ones. These blue flowers... These red flowers look really nice. I'm sure Arthur and his wife will love them. Explosion! What has Arthur done? He must have left something. I'll need to look around. Ready.
Are you from the Ravens? You gotta help me find Allie. That filthy vagrant took her. He'd been following her all over, telling people she was his daughter and that he was gonna get her back. Must have been him who took her. I should have killed the lunatic as soon as he started acting strange. Calm down, sir. I need to know where Allie was seen last. She's gone to a place near the camp where she liked to play kick the can. Damn it, I shouldn't have left her alone. <laughs> My poor Allie. I can't believe it. What terrible things will happen to her? Don't worry. I'll find Allie and the man who took her. Seems pretty dangerous around here. There are signs of zombies as well. Hardly the kind of place to let a kid play alone. That must be the place Mr. Williams mentioned. Uh-oh. A zombie. Better deal with that first. The sound of a can being kicked around will definitely attract zombies. Ah, never mind that, though. I should look around for clues. There are two sets of footprints. So, seems Ron took her from here after all. Judging by the footprints, they were in a hurry. I'd better be careful. There could be more zombies around. Zombies! This road is really dangerous. Something's off. If Ron had kidnapped a kid, he would have been moving more slowly, more carefully. It's starting to look like they were actually running for their lives. The trail goes into that abandoned supermarket. I'd better take a look. There's a girl in there. Hey, kid. Are you Allie? Yes. Can you help Uncle Ron? Uncle Ron? Can you tell me what happened? Where is he? I was playing kick the can. Suddenly, there were all these zombies. Ron helped me get away and hid me in here. And then he left and threw rocks at the zombies. The zombies chased him. It was Ron who saved you? Yes. He must be in danger. I beg you, please save him. I'm going to save him. Allie, you're a good kid. Hide away and someone will come for you shortly. So it turns out Ron was actually saving Allie. But... Why would he risk his life to save a girl he doesn't even know? I'm going to need to move fast if I'm going to save him. Never mind me. Quick, save my daughter. She's all alone, in that abandoned supermarket. You mean Allie? Don't worry. She's safe and sound back home. Really? Is she... hurt? She's totally fine. Just worried about you, that's all. My little angel is always so gentle. I've been searching for her all these years. It's just too bad that I can't make up for the time I lost with her. I just... 
Really wish I could play with her one more time. Hey, buck up a bit. Allie's waiting for you to get back, you know? Thank heavens I found my daughter. This time, I managed to protect her. an adorable puppy, Commander. Understood. Ashley doesn't have anyone but... <sighs> the door's open. Anyone home? Doesn't seem like it. There's a diary here. Sounds like Gary. I'd better go down and check. Hey, Gary. Where's Ashley? You want to go and find Ashley? Let's open the cage and see. Okay, Gary. Where are we going? Hmm. I should follow him. Gary? Are you alright? Oh, you're trying to tell me where Ashley is? Okay, I've got it. You be a good boy and wait here. I'll go get her. friend. This is a wolf. It's a good thing I came when I did. A little later and your head would be in its mouth. Here, let me bandage that wound for you. And then I'll go about fixing you some food. Oh, thank you. You're a wonderful person.
I think all this meat should be enough to last Gary a few days. Hey, kid. We should get back. Return and give Gary some soup! Go! Gary is my best friend. Gary was always there for me. He's the only reason that I wasn't afraid. Gary's favorite thing is rolling around in a sunflower field. Gary! Gary, what's wrong? Why did you come out here instead of staying at home to rest like I told you to? It's worried for you, youngin. You two can be a real handful. I'd like to teach you both a good lesson. But first, we've got to get the heck out of Dodge. It's getting dark and it's dangerous in the wild at night. But it looks like Gary can't move. Sure, I'll take it home for you. Where's Gary gone? Where could he be? tired and needs to return to its home planet to get some rest <laughs> but but i don't want him to go but darling you don't want gary to keep suffering do you and he'll still keep watching over you i promise why not go and say goodbye Ah! <laughs> 